Hello everyone, welcome to Hacker Heap. In this video, we will look into solving the problem reconstructing the itinerary. Before we start, please do like and subscribe to the channel Hacker Heap. Let's look into the problem. Given a list of airline tickets represented by pairs of departure and arrival airports from and to, reconstruct the itinerary in order all the tickets belong to a man who departs from JFK. Thus, the itinerary must begin with JFK. Note, if there are multiple valid itineraries, should return the itinerary that has the smallest lexical order when read as a single string. For example, the itinerary, there is an itinerary from JFK to LGA, LaGuardia, has a smaller lexical order than JFK to LGB. All the airports are represented by three capital letters, the IATA code basically. You may assume all tickets from at least one valid itinerary. One must use all the tickets once and only once. So if the given input is uh, Munich to LHR and JFK to Munich and SFO to SJC and LHR to SFO, they are not in order. You need to put it in order starting from JFK. So, you know, it starts from JFK to MUC and you need to find uh, MUC where MUC is going to LHR. And then LHR is uh, going to SFO and SFO is going to SJC. This is the output. This should be the output. All you need to find is the connecting routes between JFK and the final destination SJC. All you know is at this point, you are starting from JFK. Similarly, for the second input, there are actually uh, two itineraries starting from JFK. There is JFK from SFO and JFK from ATL. So, as they said, they should be populated in the smaller lexical order. So, first it goes from JFK to Atlanta and from either Atlanta to SFO or Atlanta to JFK. Again, we will go with the Atlanta to JFK of the lexical order and from JFK, it goes to SFO and SFO to Atlanta and again there is one more Atlanta to back to SFO. How do we do it? So if you have done any lexical ordering uh, algorithms uh, it's similar to that. We will be using the Eulerian path algorithm. The difference between uh, the Eulerian path algorithm and this problem is at in Eulerian path algorithm there will be only one origin going to different destination and it won't be repeated. There won't be any duplicates uh, uh, in that. So generally for Eulerian path you will be using a tree set uh, where you have unique uh, destinations but in this case uh, we have multiple origins and destinations. So we will go with a priority queue. So how do we do it? So all we need to do is to build a graph. So we need to build a map from, we need to gather all the destinations that are going from JFK. Whereas in this case, it would be Atlanta and SFO. We will keep them in a queue so that they are ordered exographical order. And then we will also gather Atlanta to wherever it is going for to JFK and SFO and similarly we will find out where it is going from SFO from SFO to wherever it is to build the graph we will use a hash map and we will have the origin and uh, we will keep all the destinations in the priority queue so that we have that in lexicographical order once we build the graph we will pass through the graph and we will add starting with JFK. We will add all the destinations. Uh, uh, we will do a DFS, depth for search. So once let's say if the graph is built, JFK to Atlanta, SFO and SFO. So we will build this graph and then we will come to this graph. SFO to Atlanta and Atlanta to SFO anything like this. So we will do a DFS so that we get this path and this path and we will have it in a list and written the list. That's all we are going to do. Let's go ahead and uh, write it out. So let's take a map. The map should be visible to the DFS function as well. So I will have it here 
Ash my buffer string RD Q of string string once we had the map we will also define the result that we are supposed to return so we will use link list in this case you can use either array list because it saves the order of the insertion so i'll go with the linker list both are the implementations of list so there won't be mismatch uh, in the written type here list string result is link list of string okay now we got this for list string ticket of tickets what we are doing is if not map dot contains key of ticket dot get of zero remember in the list there will be only two elements the origin and the destination all we are dealing with is get of zero and get of one so we are checking if the origin is not still in the map uh, all we are doing is uh, we need to build a priority queue this will be an empty priority queue and we'll put it in the map get of zero comma q so once we are out of this we need to the tick get off one where the destination to the priority queue what we'll do is map dot get off ticket dot get off zero which would return the queue dot offer of ticket dot get off one so once we had this uh, now as we said we will do a depth for search dfs of we should start with jfk and just uh, return the result <coughs> now we will the DFS of string is now as I said we will be doing a depth first search we will be pulling out a uh, value and calling the DFS again and we are inserting that value to the linker list so we will get the value of it priority q of string q is equal to <coughs> map dot get of s that will give us the q while in this case first jfk while q not equal to now and not q dot is empty we are making sure that all we will be doing is dfs of q dot poll here what we are doing is let's say there is jfk we got the q which has atl and sfo so we are sending atlanta again to the dfs so that we can find uh, the destinations uh, from where atlanta is going through so it could be sfo or jfk so it would again do a depth for search that's all we are doing now once we are here all we are doing is result dot add first we need to add it to the first of s so let's go ahead and run it out yeah it went through it's faster than 9.98 percent so let's look into what happened uh, here so let's take the example and uh, we will parse through the program so let's take the given input musu lhr jfk musu and sfo sjc lhr to sfo so we have an empty map and empty link list the result so we are not going to bother about it so when it comes to here it picks the first element so it checks if the map contains map doesn't contains so initially uh, i'm writing it over here 
there will be mcmuc the munich and uh, it will add lhr to the queue lhr to the queue and then when jfk comes jfk and it adds uh, muc to the priority queue and when sfo comes it will add sjc the destination to the priority queue and when lhr comes it will add sfo to the priority queue we build the graph now we are calling uh, the dfs with jfk so remember for the first iteration s is equal to jfk so it gets the priority queue out of it in this case muc so now it will call dfs of muc remember we haven't added a jfk to the list yet so it will be in the recursion memory so it will be added at the end now dfs of muc is called we will pull out lhr the next time it will call lhr and next time it will call lhr to sfo and it will call sjc when it calls sjc there are no destinations from sjc so we will go ahead and add it to the list remember it will add at the front of the list so let me keep it as jc now the recursive call goes here it will come to sfo and the call goes here lhr will be added to the first and then it goes to muc muc will be added and jfk will be added in the starting and we are returning this list so all we are doing is we are building the graph and we are parsing through each origination and destination starting with jfk and we are adding it to the list in recursive way so that uh, it uh, doesn't add jfk after the destination and we are maintaining the order by adding it to the first of it from backward from the last destination to the origin I hope it's clear. Please do like and subscribe to the channel Hacker Keep and thank you for watching.